Do you know how to split text into different columns without using formulas? If not, this tutorial is for you, my friends. Hey guys, this is Nestor Adriansen, and today I'm going to teach you how to split text into different columns in Excel 2016. The fun part of this tutorial is that we won't be using formulas, okay? As always, before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do it because you don't want to miss anything. All right, guys, no more talking and let's dig in. For this exercise, we have right here a table. This table has 20 rows and also we see four different columns. So we're going to work column C and D. For column C, our goal is to split this column this information in three different columns okay and we're going to use a powerful tool here that i'm going to show you in a few seconds okay let's add right here at least two additional columns okay so we're going to use command shift plus command shift plus and there you have it my friends this is for mac but if you're using a PC, you should use Control Shift Plus. If you haven't watched my my previous tutorial about shortcuts, so I encourage you to do so because I have ten powerful shortcuts in Excel. All right, we're gonna use three different steps to achieve our goal right here. So the first one is select the column that contains the text you want to split. In this case, is this text. So command shift down arrow and you select everything. If you're using a PC, control shift down arrow and you can select everything as well. So this is the first step. The second step is select data. We are already there. The third step is select text to columns. We do that right here and then we have to follow here the steps, okay? Let's make sure that delimited is selected Let's hit next and right here, this is key as well. So the delimiter is right here. In this case, we know that between name and middle name and between middle name and last name, there is space, right? So we know right here that the delimiter is space. As you can see right here, the preview, that's what we're looking for, okay? And then we hit next. Let's make sure that general is selected. The other key part of this process is the destination. So in our case, C5 is where we want to place the changes. So we are good there. Let's hit finish. And then there is another alert right there. It says there is already data here. Do you want to replace it? Yes, we hit OK. And boom, there you have it, my friends. Now we see name, middle name, and last name in three different columns. And right here, we can edit this part as well. This is middle name and this is last name. So now let's go to column F right here. For this column, the same thing. We want to split this column into two different columns. Let's add right here a new column, Command Shift Plus, and then we're going to use the three general steps that we already mentioned in the previous exercise. Let's select this data, Command Shift Down Arrow, then let's look for data, it's right here, and then let's hit text to columns, and then let's follow the steps right here. Let's make sure that the limited is selected, it's already there, let's hit next. In this case, we want to split into two different columns, as, as I said before, and we want to put what's to the left of the period in one column, and what's to the right in another column. The delimiter right here is other, and then period, it's already there. Okay, and then you can see right away the changes right here. Let's hit next. Same strategy right here. General should be selected. Destination. Let's make sure that we are placing the changes in the right spot. Okay, F5. We are good. Let's hit finish. Let's hit OK. And boom. There you have it, my friends. You can even edit this part as well. You can call this make. And then we can call this code if we want. All right. 
That's it guys, but I have something else for you because I know you guys love bonuses. It is a powerful tool right here that I'm gonna show you. So for this part, we're gonna do the opposite. So we have right here three different columns and we wanna put these columns in just one column. Okay, so we're gonna use basically three steps as well. Let's add a new column first. Control Shift Plus for PC and Command Shift Plus for Mac. The first step for this exercise is customize the first cell. In this case, let's add last name first, comma, first name, Pedro, middle name, Juan. So that's the format that we wanna see, okay? Let's hit enter, there you have it. And now, the third step is to select this powerful tool called Flash Fill, okay? Let's make sure that we are right below the cell that we're using as a reference, okay? So let's hit Flash Fill and see what happens. Boom! Automatically, guys, you can see the changes right there and you don't have to do it manually and you save a lot of time right there. We can even edit this part client if we want, okay? The other part of this exercise is to join code and make in just one column as well. Same strategy, let's add a new column first. Command Shift plus, there we have it. And then right here, let's describe the format that we wanna have, okay? In this case, R, let's say that we wanna put right here underscore and then Alcatel, and then let's hit enter. This is the format that we are looking for, okay? Let's hit enter, and then the second step, data, it's already there, and then the third step, flash field, and let's see what happens. Boom, right away, guys. You can save a lot of time if you use these powerful tools, okay? All right, guys. As you saw, we used two different tools, how to split text and also how to join text, okay? Thank you very much for your time. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and the most important part of this, don't forget to subscribe because you don't wanna miss anything.